Welcome to Big Daddy's Storytime. We're reading The Magic School Bus Gets Baked in a Cake, a book about kitchen chemistry. Our teacher, Miss Frizzle, is always surprising us. So on her birthday, we decided to surprise her. We planned a big party. We had balloons, streamers, confetti, and even noisemakers. We thought of everything, said Carlos, but Arnold wasn't so sure. Something's missing, he said. Dorothy Ann was the only one who was not getting ready for the party. She was finishing her chemistry experiment. What are you working on at this time? Or what are you working on at a time like this? asked Carlos. Dorothy Ann explained. I'm mixing three things together water, sand, and cement to make something new, concrete. That's chemistry. That's when Arnold shouted, I know what's missing, a birthday cake. My mother once made a cake that was like concrete. We decided to put away the, the party things for later. We, we were upset. What was a birthday party uh, without a cake? When Miss Frizzle came in, she saw our sad faces. I see you, you've heard the news, she said. The bus is not working, was not working well, so we won't be able to go to the bakery. I think I have to cancel our, chem our chemistry field trip. Bakery? What does a bakery have to do with chemistry? Asked Ralphie. A bakery? What a sweet idea. A bakery is a small chemical factory, said the, said the frizz. Dorothy Ann added, baking is chemistry because things are mixed together to make something new. Suddenly, Carlos realized that a bakery did indeed make something new. Cakes. Oh, Miss Frizzle, she, he said, our, edu our education wouldn't be complete without a trip to this chemical factory. Maybe the bus can get us to the bakery, said Miss Frizzle. Class, it's time for a field trip. Somehow the bus did get us there. But as soon as we arrived, the bus began hopping and stretching and then it shrank to the size of a toy car and with us in it. How will we ever get inside the bakery now? asked Wanda. This is no small problem. Oh yes, it is. We're so small. Miss Frizzle wasn't worried. She pushed a button. Suddenly the tiny bus sailed through the, through the mail slot of the bakery door. Inside we could see a baker and some customers. While the bus zoomed around the bakery, we took a good look at the cakes. Not one was chocolate. What will we do, whispered Arnold. The frizz likes chocolate. Carlos thought hard. We'll bake a cake, he said. Oh, sole, Pe uh, pumper, uh, pumpernickel. It will be our chemistry experiment, said Dorothy Ann. How will we get Miss Frizzle out of the, out of the bakery, asked Wanda. We don't want her to see what's go what, what we're doing. Carlos remembered an auto parts store next to the bakery. He told the Frizz that it might have the parts she needed to fix the bus. Miss Frizzle thanked him, put on her jetpack, and, and took off. She left Liz in charge. Hmm, it could be the, the Schrunker scope or the Mes, mes uh, Mers Gluber. By this time, the bus was the size of a moth. When the baker saw it flying around, he became angry. He got his fly swatter and chased us into the kitchen. Finally, Liz set the bus down behind some jars. The baker couldn't see us. That baker is bugging me. Luckily, some customers came into the shop, so the baker left us alone. Come on, said Carlos. We've got work to do. He began to read a cookbook. First, we have to gather and measure the ingredients. Everyone had a job. Ralphie got two eggs, but one egg got away from him. Wanda and Tim got the, got the flour and sugar. Liz found a way to measure the salt and cream of tartar. Look, an egg roll. Is that a yolk? When you, uh, or when you mix vinegar and baking soda, you get gas. Great chemistry. 
Arnold had some trouble carrying the baking soda. First he bumped into Dorothy Ann, then he knocked over a bottle of vinegar. When the baking soda spilt on the vinegar, there was quite a reaction. Keisha poured the milk, while Phoebe somehow got the butter. And Ralphie finally caught the runaway egg at exactly the right moment. He really scrambled for that. Hmm, we almost had scrambled eggs. Just then, Miss Frizzle came back. Dorothy Ann thought fast. She had to keep the frizz away from the cake, so we were baking. Miss Frizzle, could you help me with a chemistry experiment? She asked. They, be they began to experiment with the vinegar and baking soda. The rest of us struggled with the measuring. The ingredients were bigger than we were. This is hard. This is hard when, when you're half the size of a hot dog, complained Arnold. It could be worse, Ralphie told him. Suddenly it was. The bus rattled and shook. Then it shrank again. And so did we. Even tiny grains of salt and sugar looked like building blocks and, and diamonds. Let's go, said Carlos. We've got to make this cake before the baker catches us. He was, he was right. So we hopped on the bus and whipped into action. Last of all, we added the best and most delicious ingredient, the chocolate. You might say the bus did all the work. A stirring performance. We've got flour power. But the baker was our problem. When he saw the bus in action, he thought it was the moth again. So he called the bug control company. For some reason, no one there believed that a moth could bake a cake. You'd think he owned the place. Meanwhile, Dorothy Ann and Miss Frizzle were still doing exp uh, chemistry experiments. When the Frizz wanted to find the rest of us, Dorothy Ann had to stop her. What would happen if I put a whole bunch of baking soda into a bottle with the vinegar, she asked. The Frizz loved the idea. There's only one way to find out, she, she said. So Dorothy Ann filled the bottle. The mixture fizz fizzled over. It was, it was a gas. Then Dorothy Ann put a balloon over the top of the bottle. The gas pushed out the sides of the balloon. The balloon got bigger and bigger. Dorothy Ann's getting a, ri a rise out of this. Just like a tire filling with air, said Dorothy Ann. That reminded, reminded Miss Frizzle of the bus. The bus needs new tires, she said. As the frizz blasted off to check the bus tires, Dorothy Ann's balloon popped. Everyone cheered, though, because Miss, Miss Frizzle hadn't seen us. We went back to work. The next step is to mix all the ingredients together, said Carlos. Once again, the bus helped us. As it beat the batter, it forced in air. This batter is taking a real beating. Ralphie reminded us that cooks and chemists are really alike. They both measure out ingredients, he said, and mix them together to make something new. The only difference is that cooks get to taste what they make. Is it a matter of taste? Let's hear it for taste, te taste test. The baker was looking for us again. We had to do something quickly. Sub submarine down down called Carlos or yelled Carlos with that the bus dove into the batter when when the baker saw the bowl of batter he was surprised what did I when when, I, when did I make this he wondered I must be doing I must be going nuts he poured the batter into a pan and put it in put it in the oven things began to heat up what is getting so hot cried Wanda I'm pleased to announce, said Carlos, the addition of the last ingredient, heat. Ralphie gasped, Carlos? Yes, said Carlos, we're in the oven. That meant one thing, we were about to become dessert. Somehow I can't, I can't warm up to this. Yeah, it burns me up. Just when we started to panic, Ralphie pointed to a fuzzy figure moving through the batter or a funny figure moving through the batter. Liz opened the bus door and the frizz came in. Phew, she said. It feels like somebody forgot to put up the heat shield. Quickly, Liz pressed a button and the heat shield went up. The temperature dropped. As I always say, said the frizz, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the oven. How did she know we were in the oven? 
Look, yelled Phoebe, the batter's moving. Dorothy Ann explained, according to my research, the baking soda is making bubbles. The batter's not the only thing getting pushed around, pointed out Arnold. He was right. The bus was also moving. We could hear a strange noise, too. It's steam, said Carlos. The frizz didn't seem worried. It's so hot that the water in the batter is becoming vapor, she said. It's making bubbles. I'm getting all steamed up. It's giddy. I'm getting seasick. Wanda noticed something else. The batter is starting to look kind of solid, she said. And so it was. The cake was done. Oh no! Exclaimed Arnold. We're going to we're going to have to make our cake. We're going to have to have our cake and be and be eating and be eaten too. We're going to have our cake and be eaten too. Things did look bad. Miss Frizzle tried some levers on the bus, but nothing worked. We're doomed! Cried Arnold. This takes some. This takes the cake. Wait! I've got an idea," said Dorothy Ann. Do we have any baking soda and vinegar left? Luckily, we did. So you see, said Dorothy Ann, baking soda plus vinegar equals, Carlos finished for her, the gas pressure we need to push us out of here. They were right. Carlos put a balloon over the end of the container. Then he and Dorothy Ann put it on the back of the bus. The rest of us push, put on our, our seat belts. This something tells me this will be a blast. I'm beginning to feel like a crumb. When the when the baker took took the bake or took the cake out of the oven, the bus flew out of the cake. The baker chased us, but we got away through the through the mail slot. And stay out. Back at school things were normal again. Well, as normal as they as they ever are with Miss Frizzle. We had a great party and she really seemed surprised. At least she was very pleased when she when she asked class where did you get such a lovely cake we giggled Carlos explained the baker just gave it to us said it, it was ruined something about a moth Miss Frizzle laughed and said chemistry is a piece of cake she was right boy this is this is the bakery that the magic school bus visited Baker yes yes it is boy hmm these donuts look good I'll bet you a donut I can tell you something really important that was left out of the book. Baker, impossible. Boy, it was. Baker, was it that Dorothy Ann is a, li is a little uh, young to be doing these experiments? Boy, not really. Miss Frizzle was there. Everyone knows you need a grown-up when you do chemistry experiments, and Dorothy Ann was wearing goggles. Baker, I'll bet you two donuts that, those, that some people think chemi chemicals are bad for them. Boy, no, some chemicals are good. It depends on what you, you what you use them for. Baker, okay, three donuts. That that'll make that maybe okay, three donuts. That maybe you think that things like salt and vinegar don't really look look like building blocks and diamonds. Boy, they do under a microscope. Baker, you're bluffing. I'll bet you all my donuts that you can't tell tell me what I, what was missing. Boy, you never said how, Miss Frizzle. You never say how Miss how old Miss Frizzle is. Baker, huh? Upon upon my upon my pastry, you're you're right about that. And with that, my friends, I'm so happy you got to listen to this with me. And this is a fantastic book about how we can have fun e even in the kitchen. But remember, always fun in the kitchen begins with it with a um, with protection for your eyes and an adult supervising the whole baking activity. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you had as much joy as I did uh, listening to it as I did reading it to you. Thank you.